Now it's time to create a new Rust project. We'll do this by running cargo new, followed by the name of our project. I'm going to call it Discord Help Bot. Then run that. Then we'll CD into that and open that up in our editor. Once you have that open in your editor, go ahead and open cargo.toml. If you're not familiar, cargo.toml is the project configuration file. For our project, we're going to be using two dependencies. I already have them copied in my clipboard, so I'm going to paste and then I'll explain what each of them do. So we have two dependencies that we're adding in. Tokyo is a runtime for writing reliable, asynchronous, and slim applications with the Rust programming language. Since we're writing an async application, we're going to be using Tokyo. And as we mentioned earlier, we're going to be using Serenity. And Serenity is a Rust library for the Discord API. So this will allow us to interact in a seamless way with the Discord API. Jumping back into the editor, if we take a look, First, we have Tokyo. And here, what we're saying is we want version 0.2, and the features we want to include are macros. The second is Serenity. For Serenity, we have a little bit more configuration. First, we say default features are set to false because we don't want all of the default features. Instead, we want to tell Serenity, hey, these are the features that we want you to include which is client gateway model rust ls underscore backend. And then for the version, we're using the, the latest version, uh, which happens to be 0.9.0-rc.1. So it's a released candidate, and so it's some might consider on the bleeding edge, but there, there are a few features that we need for our application, hence why we're using this version. So that's it. Make sure you add those under dependencies and you'll be good to go.